about to see is the first video on YouTube about this device and this box, and basically the first piece of information about this device on the entire internet besides the eBay listing that I purchased this from. Make sure you watch this entire video until the end. Let's get into it. So as you can see, this is an absolutely massive box here. So let's get this thing out and take a look at what's inside this massive box. I'm gonna pull the box on the floor and then just pull this thing out and set it on the desk so we can take a look at it. All right, so I just got this camera. This is supposedly a Canon C100. It's called the Canon C100 LE. But I've looked into this camera. I've searched up the model number, the serial number. I've reverse image searched the camera on Google. Everything I've looked up, I haven't found a single, not one, article, photo, piece of information, document, review video, uh, piece of information even on Canon's website. I haven't found a single piece of information about this camera. As far as I know, this camera literally doesn't exist. There's nothing about it except the eBay listing that I bought it from. So I got this for $400, which if it is truly a Canon C100, that camera sells for close to $1,000 still. Not to mention that this has a pan and tilt mechanism in it a control box and all that sort of stuff. For $400, I figured it was worth it to at least see if I can get this thing going, try to figure out a way to get this thing powered up and functional. But in this video, I just wanna give you a walk around of it. I'm gonna just give you a bunch of close-ups, kind of give you a little tour of it, just to show you this crazy piece of technology that there's literally no record of anywhere on the internet. This will, this will be the first piece of information about this camera on YouTube and almost the first piece on the entire internet besides the eBay listing. So I just want to give you all the close-ups of everything and just give you a little bit of a tour of this. But without further ado, here's a quick walk around of the Canon C100 LE. All right, so to start off, right up here is what I assume is the full camera module itself. So you can see the lens mount, that's a Canon EF mount. You can see the sensor back there, the connection points, and even this right here. So I recognize this because I've owned a C100 a few times. This is the bottom the bottom plate, I don't know what you'd call it, the bottom part of a Canon C100 that's kind of poking out from this metal enclosure here. So this looks to be a stripped down C100 right in this little metal piece right here. Then it also has a fan on top here, cooling fan. I'm pretty sure the C100 has a cooling fan built in. So this is just kind of, you know, our placement of that to blow into here, cool off that entire unit. And then there's also this little slider here, almost like a gimbal. So you pull this pin out right here and you can actually slide. Let me try to do this with one hand here. Oh, if you can see it, it's actually a really smooth slide, but you can slide the camera forward and backward, most likely to balance it, depending on how big of a lens you have on there. So then you have obviously a bunch of room here for your lens to stick out here and then you can see all these little motors. So there's a motor right there, motor right there, little servo motors. And then a few chains and stuff. This is essentially a pan and tilt mechanism. So you can remotely pan the camera, you know, up and down or left and right, almost like a gimbal. It, it looks a lot like a gimbal. It actually looks just like the Ronin 4D. If you don't know what that is, look up the DJI Ronin 4D. That's what this whole mechanism kind of looks like. Just a lot bigger, of course. This is a really big unit. So you got all these wires, you know, going up into the motors and up into the camera unit itself up in here. And then you have this big control box at the bottom. So it's just this enclosed box. There's a power LED, a link LED. And I even looked inside there. Some of this stuff, oh, I don't know how well you can see that. Okay, there we go. That looks like an SDI. Oh, uh, come on. That right there looks like an SDI port. And then that one kind of does too with a wire attached to it. There's also some other ports back there. 
That's an HDMI cable right there. That's a regular HDMI cable going into the HDMI port. I just noticed that as well, actually. You see that? That's just a regular HDMI cable. So I, I'm actually guessing the main logic boards and everything from the C100 were taken out of there, brought down in here, and then all these wires are essentially running that information up to the camera box. So this is really interesting, but let's actually spin it around and move to the opposite side. All right, so on the back here, you can see there's the camera unit that I was talking about. That's where the C100 lives, I'm guessing. There's this panel here. I wanna to try to take that off and see what's behind that. But pretty much all the wires are running right into here. This is the model, the Canon C100 LE. And that's, I'm guessing, the serial number right there. Then you back up here. In this control box, these are all of the ports, all of the buttons. This is everything right here. There's not a single other port or button on this entire thing from what I can tell. So to start off, you have cellular RF, Wi-Fi, and those are those ports right there, almost like antenna ports. A 12 volt out with kind of, it looks like a proprietary, proprietary connector there. Then you have local ethernet. So just regular ethernet cable. Um, you have 12 volt input, which is this, what looks to be somewhat proprietary 12 volt connector. However, that should be pretty easy just to, you know, snip these wires, strip them, and put on whatever 12 volt input I need to onto it. And then right here you have remote ethernet. Now this does look to be broken. Yeah, that piece of plastic snapped off there, the little locking thing. But that is everything on this. Not a single button, just 12 volt input output, um, you know, some Wi-Fi, cellular, RF connectors, and then two ethernet ports. That's the only input, output, buttons, everything like that on this, is just those. So that is everything I know about this. So of course on this bracket here that I'm assuming was screwed in somewhere, you know, at one point in time, but that is it. That is all the information I know about this. That's pretty much the full two over. Actually, let's look at the bottom real quick because I haven't even seen the bottom. I'm guessing it's just this plate, but let's check it out. Yep, just that aluminum plate on the bottom. And this side, yeah, some more connectors in there. Power, power, two other things. Bunch of stuff inside this control box, but yeah, that's about it. That's really all I know about this. I don't know a single other thing besides just what I can see on it. So like I said, if you know anything about this camera at all, please feel free to leave it in the comments or shoot me an email. You can find my email in the about section of my YouTube channel. If you know anything about this or any way that I could try to power it or, you know, connect it with Ethernet, I'm guessing you use a remote software on your computer or whatever device to control this camera. If you think you can help in any way or know any information about this, please do not hesitate to leave a comment or reach out in any way because this thing is crazy. This is one of the biggest mysteries. There's just nothing about it on the internet, even though it's a Canon camera. At least Canon should have information about it. But either way, that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.